Hi, I'm Miss Siever, and I am going to read you a book called Little Red Cowboy Hat. And by the way, it's by Susan Lowell. It's kind of a takeoff on Little Red Riding Hood, but it's definitely a desert version, so I think you're going to like it. Once upon a ranch far away in the wilds of the West, there lived a little girl with red, red hair. Her hair was a fine color, somewhere between firecrackers and new pennies. And to top it off, her grandmother gave her a bright red cowboy hat. So everybody called her Little Red Cowboy Hat, or Little Red for short. One day, her mother said, Little Red, your grandmother's sick in bed. Ride over there and take her this loaf of homemade bread and a jar of cactus jelly. Yes, ma'am said Little Red, who loved to visit her grandmother. Don't dilly-dally along the way, warned her mother. No, ma'am, said Little Red, and be careful, her mother said. It's rattlesnake season. Yes, ma'am. Little Red put her cowboy hat on her head and saddled her buckskin pony. She picked the loaf of bread up and a jar of jelly and put it in her saddlebag. And then she set off for her grandmother's ranch several miles away. First, she rode down into a deep canyon. Cluck, cluck, cluck went the pony's feet, striking sparks from the rocks. Next, she rode up onto a wide mesa where gold poppies and blue lupines blossomed in the grass. Grandma loves flowers, thought Little Red. I'll just stop for a minute. As she was picking wildflowers, she heard her pony give a snort. Whoa, Buck, said Little Red, turning around. A snake, she wondered. Then she saw the wolf. Howdy, little girl, he said. He wore a cowboy hat three shades blacker than a locomotive. Hi, she said. The wolf stood between her and the pony. She didn't want to talk to him, but she'd been raised to be polite. What's your name, honey? He asked. He came closer than she liked. Little red cowboy hat, she answered reluctantly. She'd also been raised to tell the truth. Red, said the wolf. A creeping feeling ran up her backbone and tingled in the roots of her hair. Red is in ketchup, he asked. Or red is in blood. She didn't answer. He was much too close. She could count the teeth in his smile. Where are you going, sugar, he said. Why not take a little ride with me? Just then the pony whinnied and reared. Whoa, Buck, cried Little Red. The wolf leaped away from Buck's hard hooves and Little Red seized the reins and jumped safely into the saddle. To Grandma's house, she shouted as she galloped away. When Little Red reached her grandmother's ranch, she didn't hear a sound except the windmill creaking. Scrape, scrape. The chickens didn't even cluck. Usually, Grandma was outside doctoring a cow or fixing cement. But now, nothing moved except three buzzards circling high up in the sky. Poor Grandma, thought Little Red. She tied Buck to the hitching post and tippy-toed into the ranch house. It was as quiet as a tree full of owls. Grandma, she called softly. She saw a big lump in Grandmother's bed. The lacy edge of Grandma's shower cap peeked out above the patchwork quilt. I brought you some bread and jelly, Grandma, said Little Red. Thank you, honey bun, said a muffled voice. Fump. What was that noise outside? Little Red stiffened. Something was wrong. Grandma, she said, is that you? Of course it is, sweetie. I can't see you, said Little Red suspiciously. The lump moved. Deep down in the bedclothes, a strange dark eye glittered. Shoot, thought Little Red. Grandma must be really sick. What big eyes you have, Grandma, she said. Bit better to see you with, Pumpkin, said the voice. Call thump came the noise outside again. The quilt fell away from a huge, hairy muzzle. Now, Little Red Cowboy Hat knew perfectly well that this was not her grandmother. 
Well, once again, I had reached my five minute limit, you know me. So now it's time for part two. I did leave off at the climax, however. We've talked about that before. Anyway, the quilt fell away from a huge, hairy muzzle. Now, little red cowboy hat knew perfectly well that this was not her grandmother. But where was grandma? She decided to string the wolf along until she found out. So she went on bravely. What a big nose you have, Grandma. The better to smell you with, Dumplin', said the figure in the bed. Thump, thump. And what sharp teeth you have, Grandma. The better to eat you with, Angel Pie. And the wolf sat bolt upright and grabbed Little Red Cowboy Hat. Thump, thump, thump. Ow! she screamed. Quiet, you delicious morsel. He snarled, licking his chops. Oh, no, you don't, yelled a familiar voice. Get your paws off her, you varmint. And there was little red cowboy hat's grandma with an axe in her hand. She had been chopping wood. The wolf dropped little red like a hot potato and made a brick for the window. Are you all right, red, called grandma. Yes, ma'am. The wolf tripped over his nightgown, and then he got stuck in the window. His tail waved helplessly behind him. Meanwhile, Grandma snatched her shotgun from the mantle to get a little violent. Pow! Take that, you low-life lobo, she shouted. Come on, Red. Little Red leaped on to Buck and twirled her lasso. Together, they chased the wolf down the road. Tut, 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 cried the chickens. Moo, moo, called the cattle. Breaking into my house, puffed Grandma. Pow, wearing my clothes, kablam. Getting fleas in my bed, pow, bam. Messing with my granddaughter, swish, boom. You'd look mighty good as a rug, Mr. Wolf. Splat. Later back at the ranch, Little Red Cowboy Hat and her grandma sat down to eat their bread and cactus jelly. Now, Red, have you learned her lesson? Asked Grandma. Yep. Girl's got to stick up for herself, said Little Red. Her wind-blown hair glowed in the light of the setting sun. It was a fine color, somewhere between autumn leaves and chili peppers. And Grandma smiled as she smoothed it down. That yellow-bellied, snake-blooded, skunk-eyed, rancid son of a parallelogram, she said. This time he picked the wrong Grandma. And they never had any wolf trouble around her ranch again. And that's the end. I hope you liked that story. It's kind of more exciting than the original Little Red Riding Hood. Thank you for listening.